Hi, my little library friends. So it's still winter, and when we go outside to play, what do we need to wear in the winter time? Right, we need a coat, a parka, and yes, we need a hat. What else do we need? Yes, we need mittens on our hands and boots on our feet, and maybe a scarf. Okay, so if there's snow on the ground and your mittens were white and you lost one of those mittens, would you be able to see it very good if you were looking for it? No, not really. It's probably best to have mittens that are bright colored, like red or blue or green. But this is a story about a little boy who likes white mittens. Now the story is based on a book um, by Jan Brett called The Mitten, but this is my version of the story. So I hope you enjoy it. This is the story of a little boy named Leo who liked to play outside in the snow. His grandma wanted to make him a new pair of mittens. Leo wanted white mittens Grandma said, well, if you have white mittens and you lose one, you won't find it in the snow because the snow is white too. But Leo really, really wanted white mittens. I promise, Grandma, I won't lose my mittens. So Grandma made him a pair of white mittens and Leo went outside to play in the snow. Well, pretty soon, Leo looked down and he was missing one of his mittens. Oh dear, he said. Grandma might not be too happy with me because I already lost a mitten. I'll go see if I can find it. So off he went. Well, Leo's mitten was laying in the snow, but it was white the same color as the snow, so Leo couldn't see his mitten. But someone else saw his mitten. Along came a little mole. Oh, he said, this looks like a great warm place to be. I'm just going to cozy up inside here and stay nice and warm. So the mole crawled into the mitten. Next, there came a bunny rabbit hopping along, and he said, oh, what is this? This looks like a cozy place to stay warm. So he wiggled his way inside the mitten down to the bottom. Oh, hello, Mr. Mole, he said. Do you mind if I share your mitten? Sure, said Mr. Mole. Then along came a hedgehog. Oh, he sniffed around, sniffed around, and he thought this will be a nice warm place to hide out for the winter. So Inside the mitten he climbed down. Oh, hello, he said. Do you mind if I share your mitten? Well, it's kind of getting a little bit crowded in here, but okay. So Mr. Hedgehog just burrowed right in. Next thing you know, there comes an owl. Now, owls are much bigger than hedgehogs, but he saw the mitten and he thought this would be a nice warm place to be. So he crawled into the mitten. Oh, he saw all the other animals. And they said, hey, you, you're pretty big. You need to move over. So the owl moved over so he could make room. Then along came a badger and the badger saw the mitten and he thought hmm this is a nice warm place let me just crawl in here and he crawled in and much to his surprise he saw it was already full of a bunch of other animals move over move over they said so the 
Badger moved on over. Well, next there came a fox. Now, you know, a fox is much bigger than the other animals that went in there, but he needed a warm place too. So he crawled into the mitten all the way down. Now the owl was just a little bit scared. So was the badger. So was the mole. They were all a little bit scared because a fox might eat them, but he wasn't hungry. He just wanted to stay warm. So in he went. Next came a big bear. And the bear saw the mitten and he thought, hey, this looks like my cave and it's nice and warm. In I go. Oh, he crawled in and there was so many animals in the mitten. Oh, but he got in there. Oh, then along came a little tiny mouse. And the little mouse saw the mitten and thought, well, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in there to keep warm. So the little mouse tried to squeeze in. He was right by that bear. In he went. All right, now there's so many animals in there and the mouse was right on top of that bear's whiskers. So what do you think happened? It tickled the bear and the bear started to sneeze, a great big sneeze. Ah-choo! And all the animals came flying out of the mitten. Now the mitten flew up in the air and landed right in the snow where Leo was playing. Oh, look, he said, it's my mitten. So we grabbed the mitten, he put it on his hand, and he went back in the house. Look, Grandma, he said, I still have both my mittens. The end. <laughs>